Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kimberly and I'm a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. I send things into a thread up, sometimes to the real, real play, um, stuff.com. And today I am doing a haul video. Um, it's a classic one. I went to Goodwill and I bought some stuff. Um, it was, so I went on a Sunday and Sundays our two ticket colors are 50% off, so it's like the last week and then this week's colors. Um, I don't necessarily pay too much attention to that. It just depends on what's going on. Sometimes I find gems that people didn't, that people missed. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I'm filming this on the 19th. I'm not exactly sure when this will go live though. But I got 18 items. However, you're only going to see 15 because three of the items were for my mother. I was like, these are cute. She won them. Whatever. I will also point out that I saved $38.32. One, because I signed up for their like rewards program, which is like 5% off. And two, because I did find a few things that were blue and green tagged. Um, the things you won't see are a pair of jeans that my mother picked up, um, a sweater that my mother picked up, and like a long sleeve t-shirt. So, um, yeah, nothing crazy. I think the, the long sleeve t-shirt was like a, um, Vineyard Vines. The sweater was 100% fine merino wool, but it wasn't like a brand that I knew. I did, I think it said Portofino on the, um, the tag. I think I remember that. But anyway, you're not going to see that, so who cares? And they're not being sold. Um, I spent about $118 on all 18 things. No, $115 on all 18 things. Um, I'm going to include those three things in my cost of goods because it is what it is. I bought them. But let me show you what I got because I think I did really good. And I want you guys to see what you can sometimes find in Goodwill. Yes, it can be a pain in the neck, but it's so much fun. So first up... <clears throat> this was on the um this was one of the items that was the color of the week so it's love cough and this is a um designer brand um it's not like the best designer out there however these two dresses i think will do really well so like i said the color of the weeks was blue and green and it this is a dress so it is so here's the neckline and it is this gorgeous maxi length um, bridesmaid dress. I looked it over. Um, I'm hoping that I didn't miss anything, but I love it. And it was like $3.50. And then we had another one, green ticket, and same brand, but like different lines. So like that's a diffusion line, and this is the Bill Levkoff line. Um, it's polyester, but it's a size 12. That was a size 2. And it is this gorgeous purple midi length um, cocktail dress. It's so gorgeous. I actually put this back on the rack. Then I found that one and I was like, what am I doing? Pick those both up because at the worst, I think I can flip these for around $50. And I will say, I did not look up comps. I have a hard time looking up comps at this particular location. Um, I try. Something, I've actually walked outside and looked up comps at times, but yeah, no. Um, next is this Athleta. Um, it is a size small, and it is this zip hooded zipped jacket. Um, the pockets zip as well and I just could not resist it's kind of like um, quilted almost I just thought this was gorgeous I almost put it back but then I was like no this was a fun find but it does need a little bit of work and normally I don't do work but my mother said she would do it because she sews um, so it is free people it is a size small and it's this cute little like sweater. It zips up the front and then it buttons. Um, it has these, where are they? Almost like pearl buttons, but it is missing two, I think. Yeah, I think it's missing one here and then one right here. Um, 
but it's so cute. And they only wanted $5.99. You can't see it because I have the bright light. I could not resist. It also helped that the material on this was oh, beautiful. This was um, 26% 26, 26 Angora rabbit hair, 26% nylon, 26% lamb's wool, 23% wool. I mean, the materials alone, I was not leaving this behind. This is a brand I've actually sold on the Real Real. I don't know if they're still accepting it, but it's Carlisle. It was $7.99. It's a size US 18. And it's this gorgeous like blazer jacket. Um, I honestly didn't even see a size. Like I didn't see this size tag until just now. I was like, oh wait, what is that? When I was looking in the and I still picked it up, even without a size. Partly because the brand, partly because it was wool and silk. It's wool, silk, nylon, acrylic, with a polyester lining. Like, this is just stunning. And for $7.99, like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. This was um, kind of, so I paid more than I would normally pay for this brand. However, I think it has a lot going for it. So I paid $9.99 for this sweater. It is Nautica. It is new with tags, but it's vintage. Um, so it's dead stock. It is Nautica made in Hong Kong. It's cotton and linen, um, size medium. It was sold at Lord & Taylor. I could tell it was vintage from this, but then when I saw made in Hong Kong, I knew. Um, it also has its Nautica tag here, talking about this design, and it's just such a gorgeous sweater that I think this will do well, and I could not leave it behind. I actually found that on the Go Back rack, and I was like, yes, please. This was another, oh, like, I had to. It was, it's again, $9.99, but I feel, like, as soon as I felt that, I was like, you're coming home. Um, it's a size small, and I don't know this brand, Venetia High Quality Angora. Um, it's 80% Angora, 20% nylon. I'm 99% sure it's vintage because of the label and because of the um, shoulder pads. But it's this gorgeous button-down Angora sweater that's lined. So it's not going to be itchy scratchy, even though... It's so soft. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I want, I pet. I spent most of my time in the store petting this thing while I was searching. I have no shame. Also, this was the first thing I found in the store, and I was like, oh, I think it's going to be a good trip because I don't normally find this brand. So it's Alice and Olivia. It's a size extra small, and they only wanted $6.99, so they didn't price it up. And it's this gorgeous dress. It has the sheer sleeve. It was just stunning. I could not leave her behind. And I do like selling, well, I do like Alice and Olivia. I don't sell it well, but I do like it. And it has a style number on here, so I'm pretty sure I should be able to look it up, no problem. The next thing I found is something I almost didn't pick up, but for $6.99, yes, it's um, Chaser, size small. It's Pink Floyd, but it's the t-shirt dress. It is a full-on t-shirt dress of Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon? Yeah. I could not resist because I've actually sold this as the t-shirt, and I didn't even know it came in a dress. And for $6.99, I was willing to try it. <clears throat> the next piece I found, which was, ugh, yes. So it was one of those days. So this is Rebecca Taylor. Um, it is a size of four, and again, they only wanted $6.99. It's like somebody donated their entire designer closet. This gorgeous sheath dress with like a lace detail at the sleeves. Loved it. It does need a little bit of work because under the arms, there's like the residue from deodorant. I forgot to 
forgot to plug my phone in. You guys, I need to like put a little sticker on the wall. If you're filming, plug your phone in. That's what I need. I need like a reminder. Will I do that? Probably not. The sticker would probably fall off the wall. Anyway, that's what I was saying. So it just needs a little bit of work, but then I found another one. So Rebecca Taylor, size two. And this one is another like sheath dress. Uh, yeah, so the front has the zipper and it's a quilted dress. It is nice material. It has pockets, which I think that's always a winner. Um, honestly, it was in such good condition. It has that cool netting detail. Like, I could not resist. And it doesn't, it has the very, 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 very little wear even here. Like, not. Like, whoever wore this maybe wore it once with Dior and that's it. They never wore it again. But it's gorgeous. I had to bring her home. Next up, we had something that was blue tag that I couldn't believe was blue tag. So this was half off. Lafayette 148. And it's this really cool, fun blazer. And it's a size 14, so a good size too. It does have shoulder pads. And it's just, it's it's pretty cool. Like, I, I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. This was a fun one. Um, I, I don't do a lot of vintage, but sometimes the, the vintage calls to me. This was another blue ticket, so it was 50% off. They wanted $9.99 for it. And it's Land's End. I don't think you can see it, but it's Land's End Women's Regular 6, 100% wool, made in Hong Kong. And it is just this gorgeous wool cardigan from Land's End. I was not leaving her behind. She's just, mm -mm. She was pretty, she's been taken care of. Yes, she came home with me. This was also a blue tag, so this was 50% off, uh, so $6.99, so $3.50, um, and this is, come on girl, where are you, where's my label? So it was Lulu's size medium, and it's this gorgeous black dress with kind of like cutout details in the back. It's a size medium, it's a heavy weight dress, it's in really good condition. Um, I don't do the best with Lulu's, but if I find it this inexpensive I will pick it up and I will sell it and finally this is the last piece this was another one of those oh my gosh it was green's ticket so that was 50% off it was they wanted a $9.99 originally so I got it for five dollars and it is Emporio Armani it is made in Italy it's this, it's, I think it's vintage, honestly. It has the um, shoulder pads and everything, but it's like, almost like an open front blouse, but it's kind of cardigan-esque. Um, let's see, and the material tag says it is viscose and wool with polyamide, and it's a size 44 made in Italy. So I just could not, could not leave this behind. Um, she was not getting any love in that store because they had her, they were like, they had her between the clips of pants, like the pant hangers. I was like, they are not giving her, this girl, any, any credit. But that's the 15 items that I bought to resell. Um, obviously not including the three items that my mother took. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, what do you think of my haul? Would you pick these items up? Are you surprised that I found them, especially some of the prices that I paid? Um, what was your favorite piece? I, not gonna lie, I'm so obsessed with that Angora sweater. It's stunning. And some of these things, I feel like if you're in person, you kind of get a better idea of just how nice they are. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I will say, I'm really excited by the vintage and that's not something I sell or do well with. It's just something that I think these were quality pieces and I want to give them new life. And that really is part of my reselling thing is giving clothes new life. So yeah, 
but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. If you want to see more of these, let me know. Also, um, please consider giving this a thumbs up. And again, let me know what your favorite piece is because again, that Angora, oh, I wish it was my size. I'd, pr I'd probably keep her if she was my size, but she's a small and I am not. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video.